Hi everyone, my name is Adam Huang, and today we again we have a conversation of happiness. So this is I'm Shay Shay Morgan. What one thing that you do that would make you happy? That makes me happy. Yeah. I absolutely love being at home with my family. Okay. Just in 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 the safety of of those walls mm. that I like to call it. Um, just being there or being wherever they are. And around them, and hearing the laughter, and having the conversations, and the chaos, and you know the anger too, all of that. Just being in it, be part of a unit, of an actual unit, is is amazing. Because uh, having to grow up without my dad and not having it, I always wanted it for myself. So living it now is is great. So how would you and and that experience, and for yourself, that's every day. Right. So I'm living that right, right now. So, really? Yeah, because like it, it, because a lot of us take take for granted, and I think more specifically, we take the people around us for granted. Right. So when we take out of for granted, that newness doesn't stay as newness for very long. No. So, what do you do to keep that newness together, or contribute to that newness, and enhance that newness to even a greater experience than what I do? For my husband and I, it's it's constant growth and development within the unit. It's something that we both wanted, so we both kind of fight for it. Every day, and so it's 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 communication, not just with us and being open, but with the children. Mm-hmm. That's constant too, and um, even in trying to explain things and always doing it from my heart and from his heart, as opposed to being angry and in the moment, you know, saying things off the top of our head. We really try to explain. So you consciously communicate. It's it and it's active and it's daily and you can't stop, and that has kept us going for as long. And it's not that long, but I mean, people that got together in and around the same time we we did aren't together anymore. Yeah. So it makes me want to do what we're doing more so. So how did you start being consciously communicate? I think that's also one of the most difficult things for people in general. And then I think it's even harder to constantly communicate with your loved ones because there's always that fear of you know not being accepted, being judged by them. Because the people closer to you, it can hurt you the most. It's true, right? So we all have that fear. That's true. Yeah. So how did you like got there, and how did you? Oh, yeah. I met my husband online, to be honest, mm. and so we let a lot of walls down. Through that communication, right. because you, when you're face to face, your walls are up, right? Absolutely, yeah. right. So when you're you're not in that space, and you're able to get your thoughts across very clearly, and you know, be very open with this person that's not in the room and not judging, and and being very open to whatever it is you're saying. That's a happy. That, that's incredible, and mm-hmm. it's something that I really appreciated at the time. And when I met him face to face, that was one of the things I was worried I would lose. And he was as well. It's like we have this really great friendship. What happens if we meet and now we hate this person, or the walls suddenly go up? Right. So immediately, it was something I said to him, and it was it was conversation from the get go. I was like, you know what we have? That's the thing I'm worried about. I don't want to have to lose that, and I don't want to have to lose that kind of open communication either. And so we really worked at that, and being able to say how you feel in the moment without that other person judging and being very open to it. I, I think I'm lucky to have him because mm. he's he's been great right. for that, and he doesn't just listen; he acts on. So that's the other part of it, right? Yeah, it's that you listen and then you act on it, and so for us, it's constant. And it's, it's it's just been growing ever since. So, yeah. <laughs>
No, like really, yeah. like seriously, that I think that's amazing. Right. It's not something you want to let go of. No, it's very, it is something you need to nurture. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like in any type of relationship, it's so easy. It, it's very hard, hard to build up that trust, that communication, but it takes very long mm -hmm. to destroy that. It does. Right? So how do you maintain that balance? It's not easy, man. No. <laughs> It, it really isn't. Yeah. And, and sometimes we have... Of, yeah, that's how most... What what that can keep the people happy or go to the opposite direction and become bitter. Yeah. Right? And luckily, we haven't had many of those moments yeah. where we... We honestly have never butted heads or argued or really gotten there because we talk the shit out of everything. Mm -hmm. The good and the bad. And we always come to this happy medium. But again, it's from a, it's from here. With the heart. Yeah. And we always say it lovingly. Yeah. We always say it with love. And so I think that makes the difference. And there's, there's no fear there either. Because we say some things that, you know, 20 years ago, <laughs> I think we would have both <laughs> yeah. packed up and left, but we're, we're really hearing it differently and appreciating the truth in it. Yeah. And Again, it's it's constant being in the now, trusting and loving and wanting the same things. Yeah. I think that brings me back always.